as a person with great faith in the maker of the universe, I must come out from my own comfort zone. The real truth is, even though that we imagine and we feel that we live in modern days, the real truth is that nothing really ever changed. Those villains that are manipulating the world for their will and for their selfish goals, they are making our lives much harder than we can imagine because they are very very wealthy and they have a very strong power and effect on economics and ways of communication like television and radio and newspapers and internet and all social media and they have the ability because of their physical wealth they have the power to twist the minds and to plant fears and anxieties, sadness and depression into the minds of simple and innocent people around the world. And therefore, we are finding ourselves in a spin, suffering tremendously in many, many ways and being manipulated to a place that there is no way out from. At least, that's how it seems to the eyes of the innocent ones. But we know as true believers, as people of faith, that the maker of the universe, he is the one that is above the limitations of this world. We as people, our hands are tied. We don't have the power to take over. You cannot take your rage and go out to the streets and start fighting with people and to bring good results that will change the universe because they're going to be found a replacement for that villain that you will take down and therefore that is not the solution to go and start hunting people down that's not the godly will and that is not our intention and that is not the right way to work the right way to work though is to rise our hearts our eyes and our hands up to the sky and to call the creator from the bottom of our hearts we ourselves we know that our hearts are pure but there are villains who are stopping the water from flowing freely they are allowing sick people not to be healed and not to receive the right remedies and medications for their condition and situations. They are preventing the world from its healing process. They're selling weapons to both sides that are playing wars. They are preventing true education from innocent children with the excuse of not having the right fundings for that and increasing the taxes on the heads of those ones who cannot afford buying houses, even renting houses, buying cars, and living their lives in peace. They're the ones who are sitting in the governments. They're the ones who are controlling the industries and the markets. They are the ones who are preventing a lot of goodness from the simple and innocent people. And we, as true believers, we must call the maker and call him in prayer to call him and to ask for his help because he is the one that his hands are not tied in this world he is the one that has the power to make and bring the great change for the good for the great redemption to take place in our days he is the one that is on top of all this craziness he is the one that is the source of kindness and wisdom he can plant the right solutions in our mind. He can give us the power to win the elections, to change the world, to make all the positive changes that are needed and so required for the correction and perfection of our world, for it to be renewed and refreshed and start over again in a better position of goodness and kindness that will spread to all directions. It is in our hands to call the Maker, to pray a simple and individual prayer, 
to call him from our hearts, to tell him how much we need him, how much we want him to assist us. It is in our power to bring that change, not in a physical way, just in a spiritual way, to call the Maker and to ask for his help. As a true believer, I call you, no matter who you are, to which nation you belong, to which religion you associate yourself. I'm calling all the true believers to call the God that is above his creation and to ask for help and to say those words with truth from the bottom of your heart. Speak to him as you speak to the most honorable friend, the one that you owe your life to and ask for all our needs for the sake of our children, for the sake of the whole wide world. And may all our prayers be answered in no time, in our days. Amen. Emuna Project is a non-profit organization. To support this work, please make a purchase from our online store or donate through emuna.com. Thank you. My new book, Return to Your Root, is now on Amazon and emuna.com.